Hello again, my name is Frank Lynham and in this video we're going to talk to you about the data mining section of the linkdark.net website. So I've just brought up the, the linkdark.net site here in my browser I'm, and I'm going to navigate to the data mining overview section and this gives a brief introduction to what data mining is all about on linkdark.net. Now we're in the linkdark.net web, link web app and what that is, is that's a particular data client that consumes the services of the linkdark.net linked open data uh, server. But it was always envisaged that uh, the linkdark.net web app will be just one client that would consume these services. And so in the data mining section here, this lists the other uh, data clients that data mine the, the data that resides in the linkdark.net server. So you can see here at the moment we have one other, it's called the Priniaticus Pyrgos Textiles Project. And we can learn more about it by clicking here. And this gives, uh, this page gives an introduction to the objectives behind this particular uh, data client. Um, it also gives an overview of the, uh, the technical decisions that were made, um, uh, that were made to build it. Uh, you can see that it uses the Sparkle interface of the linkdark.net server to, to request data, uh, which comes back as JSON. Um, it, it talks in on this page about how that data is then interpreted and how it's displayed using the MapTyler app and the Leaflet JavaScript library. So at the top then, there's just a few more, uh, so some metadata about the project. And also you can, you can download the code and have a look at it um, on, which is hosting on Bitbucket here. But let's go in and have a look at the, the site here, which is hosted on pbtextiles at linkdark.net. When we go into the site, we're presented with uh, an initial pop-up box that just explains what the, um, this particular data client is all about. And um, in a word, uh, there were a lot of loom weights found uh, during the excavation of Priniaticus Pyrgos, almost 200. And these uh, particular Artifact types are, are very interesting because they're diagnostic of past textile production activity. And because um, they span such a, a range of periods, they, they show a kind of a diachronic study um, uh, of a particular activity type uh, at the site. So we can get rid of that. Um, and this is just an indication that we can use filters, but we'll talk about filters in a moment. And basically what we see here uh, in the initial view is uh, we are presented with a contour map um, and overlaid on top of that is a heat map which shows the densities of where the loom weights were found uh, during the excavation of the site. Um, now we can zoom in right in and we can see basically red red is the highest density and then it goes all the way down to the lowest density which is blue um, and yellow and green are in between densities and so that shows where the the loom weights are we so we can zoom in we can zoom out and we can see that the contour map is actually presented as a layer on top of an open street map uh, layer as well and uh, we can see down in the corner here we can turn on and off these layers so we can turn off the heat maps if we want we can turn off the site map we could even turn off the open street map but let's turn them we could present say the the heat map on top of an open street map let's turn them all back on and zoom back in and uh, we'll talk about filters now so at the moment uh, the default view presents uh, where all the um, the loom weights were found uh, just close to 200 but uh, I want to now so you can see they're all selected there by default I'll turn them all off and I just want to look at uh, the pyramidal uh, types so I'll turn on these four different pyramidal types and I'll click the refresh button and what that does is it sends a sparkle query to linkdart.net server and this sparkle query is listed here so you can use that um, to build your own queries if you want to build your own uh, web app to consume linkdart.net services and it also lists uh, it returns uh, json data an array of json data and you can see there are 86 records 
found that matched my particular search criteria. And these then are now plotted um, on the map and you can see that, uh, so it's slightly different now because we're looking at just a particular subset of types. Um, we can also search by period. So I'll turn off my uh, loom weight types and I will look for all the loom weights that were thought to have been uh, produced during the early Minoan two period. So. And this, uh, again, we get the Sparkle query and we, it says that there were 44 records found and we get a slightly different pattern. So you can see the way the site, um, the site works there. It's a very simple site, single function site, but it shows that um, the linkedart.net service can be used by any da data client. The data is open to, to any data client that wishes to access it. If you would like to learn more about data mining the services hosted by the linkedart.net server, please visit the about section of the linkedart.net website. Thank you.